first tune we're doing is called The Court of May by Joe Henderson.
That was Priscilla and Tim and uh, Tammy and Paul. And now, now we have a special guest. Addie is going to play um, a traditional song called Red Hair Boy.
right, next up we got Odile. And this song, as I was telling people yesterday, usually I charge, yeah, you, you know, 300 to $500 cash up front on the spot uh, when people request this song if they want me to do it. That's just, a, yeah, it's just a rule. I said it like you know, a long time ago. And uh, so it's a very special tune. You'll see what it is, you'll know right away. So we're gonna do that next. I can't tell you what it is. And then just for all the campers, so you know what's happening. As soon as, uh, as soon as this one, is done this song then we are going to do a few songs that feature justin branham uh so that he can then leave because he has to drive to nashville tonight to see his wife and six kids and he has a gig at the grand old opry tomorrow yeah so he has to get home so we are we are um doing the kind thing and we're gonna we're gonna program him soon and so there will be probably a handful of tunes that Justin's going to play. And then we're going to tell him thanks and let him drive home to see his family. So that's what's happening for about the next 25, 30 minutes or so. And then more will be revealed. Everybody will have a chance to play. down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he's way behind. He was willing to make a deal. When he came across this young woman sawn on a fiddle and playing it hot. Well, the devil jumped on a hickory stump and said, boy, let me tell you what. Well, I guess you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player too. And if you care to take a dare, I'll make a bet with you. Now you play a pretty good fiddle, girl, but give the devil his due. I bet a fiddle of gold against your soul, because I think I'm better than you. The woman said, my name's Johnny, and it might be a sin, but I'll take your bet, you're gonna regret, because I'm the best there's ever been. Johnny, you're rising up your bow, play your fiddle hard. Cause hell throws loose at Georgia, and the devil deals it hard. If you win, you get the shiny fiddle made of gold. But if you said, I'll start this show, and fire flew from his fingertips as he rosined up his bow. And he pulled the bow across the strings, and it made an evil hiss. And a band of demons joined in, and it sounded something like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
When the devil finished, Johnny said, well, you're pretty good, old son. But sit down in that chair right there and let me show you how it's done. He cried, fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. Well, the devil's in the house with the rising sun. Chicken in a bread pan, picking out dough. Granny does a dog bite, don't child, no. The devil bowed his head because he knew that he'd been beat. And he laid that golden fiddle on the ground at Johnny's feet. Johnny said, devil, just come on back if you ever want to try again. I done told you once, you son of a gun, I'm the best there's ever been. And he cried, fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. Well, the devil's in the house of the rising sun. Chicken in the bread pan, picking out dough. So now we're going to let Justin grab his fiddle and we're going to get a couple of these things together for you all. We're going to probably have Austin and me and Carl and do a couple, whatever Justin wants to do. Coming up in a couple minutes.
Okay. Well, we're gonna do a little. Uh, I don't. I don't need that. Uh, we're gonna do a little tune. I learned only recently at that Western and Swing Week up at Ashokan, the Ashokan Center, which is one of my favorite places up in the Northeast to learn all sorts of kind of music. Uh, met a lot of my friends in the music community there, and uh, they have themed weeks. This one was Western and Swing Week. They've got a Southern Week and a Northern Week, where there's Quebecois music and. Scandinavian music and then Southern music or uh, Southern Week has some Cajun and Zydeco and all that sort of stuff. Uh, many of you may have heard of Ashokan through uh, the name Jay Unger, a guy who wrote that famous uh, 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 waltz that uh, that uh, called the Ashokan Farewell. That maybe Justin can quote right now. But anyway, this is a tune, uh, every time I go to one of these uh, weeks to try to learn some new repertoire, so this is, this is a song I first heard from a band up in the Northeast called Two Blue. They're a, a bluegrass and swing group, and, uh, and this tune is called Deed I Do. I performed it with them uh, up there at, uh, on fiddle, just kind of playing backup, but I loved the lyrics, and I thought the song was nice and fun. Uh, so, so, uh, so I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, a good one to check out is, is by the Hot Club of Cowtown, and that's like just bass, guitar, and fiddle, and the lead singer is a, a plays fiddle and sings. But anyway, we'll try this one, uh, maybe, uh, did, did the last day as an intro. Yeah, okay. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Justin knows this one. I think um, we'll we'll take you out with um, a Tim O'Brien tune. Tim O'Brien uh, sings and plays in the band Hot Rise. Now, I've got to make sure that uh, Justin's okay with this. Justin, you hear me out, right? Out there? There he is. Justin, do you know Nellie Kane? Yeah, this is a Tim O'Brien tune called Nellie Kane, and it's uh, of all the bluegrass tunes about murder and, uh, and uh, theft and cheating and lying, this is just a good old love song. I guess that's the theme today with the song. So uh, uh, we're just going over it real quick here. Everybody have a good week at, at this uh, CSW?
Yes. So we are setting up for a little triple fiddle number here, getting Chris on a real trad bluegrass tune by Bill Monroe. Yeah, big man, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, so the first one we'll do is called Lonesome Moonlight Walls, and it was a, a triple fiddle tune recorded by um, Bill Monroe. The key of D minor.
Shelso, S-C-E-L-Z-O, uh, more about him later. But really, I want to take a second to give a huge thanks to Justin Branham. He's been with us all week, and he's got to get home to his family. So please welcome, or thank, rather, Justin Branham, the one, the only. He has to get to Nashville because he does have a gig tomorrow night at the Grand Old Opry. It's a fact. And he has stayed here to be with us. Um, you got to check him out at Master Fiddle. Dot com. Masterfiddle.com, also Masterfiddle on Instagram, Masterfiddle on YouTube, on Facebook, Masterfiddle. If you want to Masterfiddle, check out all of Justin Branham's stuff. He's got a great subscription that you can do. He's got so many amazing resources, including some of the arrangements that you heard us doing tonight. And you all have got to uh, witness his generosity, his warmth, his, uh, his wisdom and more this week. So thank you, man. Thanks so much, Justin. Appreciate it. And I just want to say thank you all. It was, it was great to work with everybody. So it was, it was real pleasure to be here. Thank you.
So how about some Shady Grove and old Joe Clark? We got a group out there that's going to do that, right? Does anyone out there have a second guitar? That's what we're trying to figure out right now. Does anyone have? Did anyone bring a guitar? Gu another guitar? Oh wait. Do we have a second guitar? Ben, Any guitar? Ben, do you have a guitar? Yeah, it's not really a bluegrass. I mean, it's it's What's that, that it's that resonator guitar. That's okay. Any guitar will do.
It makes you almost feel like you live in a place like Asheville or something, or Black Mountain, North Carolina, when you hear music like that. Which is awesome. And now we're gonna have Carol and crew do Shepherd's Wife's Waltz with Bethany, Lana, maybe David. Someone said maybe David was gonna play on that one. Awesome. And anybody who knows Shepherd's Wife's Waltz. One of the amazing things that happened this week was that Lana, who is a, she's really a professional classical violinist, um, she learned to play the bass this week and follow chord progressions, which is really cool. So I'm thinking after this song we'll have Lise come up with Austin and Sammy and do Cuckoo. And then we'll take it from there. Is that cool? You're cool with that? <laughs> so this is Chef Shepherd's Wife Waltz. I learned it from a dulcimer player and his band in Virginia. Dulcimer Dam and the Blue Sky Band. Shepherd's Wife Waltz. Thank you. 
Sorry, YouTube. My phone, I only got so much power, but we got it back up and running. Hopefully, we'll keep it going. I gotta get it together. Especially with uh, three people who have helped me this week. Uh, my teacher Austin, my friend and teacher Sammy, and my new friend and uh, teacher Donna. So, uh, this is a traditional song called the Cuckoo.
So the next song, I'm pretty sure, is called Dragon Slayer. No. <laughs> or something that has the word dragon in it. I'm just, yeah, it's not. But I just like to call it Dragon Slayer. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be cool. It's a song about dragons. But there's no words, except for the title. This is the Creative Strings Festival. I want to thank uh, the real yard, Black Mountain, for having us. This is the fourth night we have been here in two weeks, but we have hosted in our four nights over 40, about 45 musicians we have brought up here to play uh, between last Wednesday and Thursday and last night and tonight. And we're not done. We have about another probably 45 minutes that we're gonna play. And I really wanna thank these guys for the help with the sound. Dan Simpson and uh, and your colleague, who I don't want to mess up your name, Wiogo, 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 and Dan. Uh, and I don't know the name of your company. It's just his name, Dan, the Dan Simpson Sound Company, and Wiogo. Thank you guys so much because they have been attentive to every single thing. And if anybody from uh, the rail yard is listening, like definitely you should hire these guys to do sound all the time, because they care. Everything's better when people care. You notice that? But anyway, the Creative Strings Festival started over 20 years ago by little old me. I started it in Columbus, Ohio. The first time that I did it, there were eight people that came and I taught them. And the next year I hired more teachers and we always, would combine um, workshops with performances. And so it's been all, we've been all over the world. Um, I do one every year in Switzerland, still. But during COVID, I actually had like 12 Creative Streams workshops in like eight countries scheduled and ticketed and they all got canceled. Um, but we are still standing. And we're gonna come back next year right here in Black Mountain. This is my official pitch to all the participants. I want you to come back. I want you to let me know what will it take 
for you to consider coming back? What do I need to do to make it worth it for you to come back next year? Because um, we appreciate you. This is all about you, and this is not possible without you. Um, I gave them more than 10 seconds to rehearse. Okay, here they are.
Okay, so the, 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 the faculty trio is going to play. We have been working for two weeks, just to clarify. We ran this thing last week, and some of you know that Carl and Camille also work the night shift. The jams, right, going till 2 o'clock. Who's walking the bass line for you when you're taking that solo? Who's playing those thirds and sevens for you on the fiddle on the porch and saying, good job? That's right, they are, Carl and Cammy. Oh, give it up for give it up for Cammy and Carl. Talk about support. Talk about love. Who was it uh I was a part of this youth group. Uh, I was a part of a youth group in high school, and their motto was, work is love made visible. Work is love made visible. So we would work during this, uh, the, the year to get money to pay for us to go travel and work for Habitat for Humanity, and then we would work and build houses, right? And that was the whole thing of, of the youth group. It was like, youth group would meet, we talk about stuff, you know, whatever. It was like an ecumenical youth group. And uh, then we'd go down and have this, like, week long retreat and build, build houses. And it was, you know, we raised money to do it. So that was the motto, work is love made visible. Somehow that feels like that, that translates to what we're doing here. Music is like work, you know, service. All the things we do in the world, we can think of it as service. So anyway, what are we doing? We're gonna play some tunes. Let me get my fiddle. play a duo tune first. Cammy, uh, by, by the way, I don't think I said this before, but, but Cammy won um, last September. There's this there's this thing called Fresh Grass. Woo! It's a national fiddle contest. Cammy won it. Woo! Won, won. Not the first place. Lots of money. And a that I wrote last year called Nowadays. It is in part for an ex-boyfriend and in other parts for uh, one of my best friends from high school, Danny Mirati Pacheco, who passed a year and a half ago. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, super happy song.
Now's your chance. Otherwise, we'll call it. Sammy was talking about something. Yeah, it's everybody. Or everybody. Okay, everybody's gonna play. Everybody's invited to play. Small tail. That's a good one. Okay, yeah. Whatever Sammy says. So, anyone who knows the tune "Angeline the Baker" should come up and play. And if you don't know it, it's in D. So. Just play D and you'll be fine. <laughs>
You guys ready? Yeah, you guys count it down. Three, two, one. Snap. You guys want to do a funny photo? Beer. Beer. Blueberry ginger beer. Free note. Free note. Free note. Okay, great job, guys. Thank you. The jams can continue as late as you want to stay up over wherever. Thank you, guys. You guys, great job, great job, it was fun. You gotta come to both weeks, that's the end. Yeah, man. Hey, Chris. To everybody on YouTube, thanks for being here. That concludes our fourth Creative Strings Festival concert of the last two weeks. And we've done Creative Strings Workshop and Festivals two weeks down here in the Black Mountain, uh, 2023. The next festival will be in Europe, in Lausanne, Switzerland, in November. And then we'll be back here in Black Mountain next summer. So, as always, you can reach out to me directly, Chris at ChristianHouse.com. Chris at ChristianHouse.com. Any questions you have, uh, thanks for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Have a great day.